Have you ever seen someone else's Instagram feed where the images all match, the graphics look professional, and there's a common design throughout the feed, and you kind of think to yourself, how did they do that? There's a very good chance that they used Canva to design their Instagram post, which has allowed them to produce a pretty awesome feed. Today, I'm going to walk you through how you can choose a Canva template that has multiple Instagram post layouts and designs so that your feed can look professional and well put together. If you don't already have a Canva account, do look in the description for a link to a free trial. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Normally when creating an Instagram post using Canva, we would head up to templates and click on Instagram post. And although this gives us plenty of options to choose from when it comes to Instagram posts, many of these are just single Instagram posts. To take advantage of templates that offer a whole set of matching posts, head on up to the search field and type in Instagram post sets. And what you'll see here is there are a lot of different templates that actually offer a whole set of posts within the one template. So for example, if we have a look at this one, you'll see here that it comes with matching posts. And just like those Instagram feeds that you've seen, they all match, they have common colors, common fonts, and they really do look professional. We can have a look through a few more here. So here we have again another set of posts that all match between the colors, the fonts, even the design elements used from post to post. So definitely have a good look through all of the options that are available. This one's pretty neat. I like all of the scribbles and everything as well as the colors actually. So once you find a template that you like, go ahead and click on use this template. By default, Canva will place all of the templates within your document. So we can work through them one by one. For this tutorial, I'm going to design the set so that it could apply to a travel blogger or perhaps a travel influencer. And the first thing I'm going to do is replace all of the text. So, you know, these design elements are really cute. I love the colors, so I will leave that, but I'm going to update the text. And to do that, simply double click on the text that you'd like to edit and then replace it with your new text. Now, perhaps you'd like to change the font. So for example, this font at the top and the bottom, I'd like for them to match. So from what I can see here, if we look up here in the font dropdown, you can actually see that it is in fact the same font, but the top is bold and uppercase, whereas the bottom is not. So I'm just gonna change that by clicking on this font here and then click on bold and uppercase. And I just feel that that flows a little bit better. Now you can do things like change the color of the elements as well as the background. So for example, let's say you wanted to change the background color, you would head on up to color here, and then you can play around with the default colors as well as the color wheel here. But because these all match, I do want to leave the colors as is, but again, you could go through each and every one and change the colors if you'd like. So if we head on down to post number two, so the first thing that we're going to do is replace the image here. And if you have a photo of your own that you'd like to upload, you can go ahead on over to the uploads tab and upload a file from your computer. Or Canva does give tons of different options when it comes to stock photos. And that's what I'm going to use in this case. So I'm going to click on the photos tab. And then from here, I can go ahead and search for different photos. As you can see, there are plenty to choose from. And if you see one that you like, we can go ahead and drag it and drop it onto our workspace. And if you'd like to reposition it or resize it, simply double click and reposition it, or you can also resize. Next, we can go ahead and edit the text. 
So go ahead and double click. And I'm just going to copy and paste Globetrotter into each uh, section of text. And because the word Globetrotter is a bit shorter than what was there, we can go ahead and move it over so that it's closer to the circle here. And if you'd like to do the same, simply click on the group and nudge it over by using your arrow keys. And to make it go a bit faster, hold down the shift key and then it will kind of skip forward a bit faster for you. So there we have post number one, post number two, and now we'll head on to number three. And we're going to do the same thing here. So let's look for another image and then drag and drop the image that you like. And then reposition if needed. And if you'd like, we can either put Globetrotter here again or something completely different. And then again, I'm going to copy and paste it over top of the other bits of text. Okay, so there we've got our third one there. Now this one doesn't have any text at all. Let's go ahead again and look for new images. And because there is a lot of green within these posts, I would like to find some images that have green in it as well. And as you can see here, the template came with a black and white filter on this image. Now you could either leave it like that or to have the color show, simply click on the image and then head on up to adjust and then adjust the settings. You can even adjust the settings to make the photo a little more vibrant. And then let's go ahead and find one more for this post. And this image may not have a lot of green in it, but it does have this orangey color that kind of goes with this frame. Last but not least, here is the fifth post that comes with this Instagram template. And this image kind of goes with the color in the background. And again, we'll need to update all of the text. Now, if you head on down to this little icon here, it's the grid view. Go ahead and click on it. And now you can see the posts kind of side by side. So as you can see, they really go well together. Let's say that there's a post that you really like. We can duplicate it and modify it ever so slightly that you can add it to your little collection of posts. So let's say we really like this one here. We can click the duplicate button and then I'm just going to move it down to the bottom and then we can kind of modify it so that it's very similar, but it is different. So for example, we could move this around, perhaps rotate it, make it a bit smaller. Same thing with this one here. Perhaps this one will make bigger. We can reposition this paper here. And perhaps we'd like both of these frames to be the same kind of goldish orange color. So to change the color of the frame, click on it. And actually it's probably just a rectangle behind the image, but either way, click on the color. And Canva is very smart in that it will pull the document colors. So we've got the background color as well as the first frame there. 
So let's go ahead and click on it. And now let's look for other images that we can add. Now this photo has a lot of blue in it. I might look for something with a little more gold and green. That doesn't really have a ton of gold and green in it, but I do find that it matches a little bit better. So if we head on back to the grid view, you can see here that we now have a new post that goes along with the rest of them. As much as you have these graphics now that all match and kind of you've got an ongoing theme that you can now apply to your Instagram feed, it is a good idea to work in images. So just plain images that you would post on Instagram, kind of between some of these posts. So for example, if we add a new page and double click on it so that we can work on it, just to show you what I mean, I'm going to add a photo to the image here. So perhaps we could try this one out. And if we make it full size here and then position it, you know, pretend like this is a, an Instagram post, just a plain old photo. And I'm going to do a few of them here. And just one more. And now again, if we head on out to the grid view, I'm just gonna drag them in between some of the posts just to give you an idea as to what I mean. So as you can see here, we've kind of sprinkled in a few just plain photos and that will really help to fill up your Instagram. You know, you may not always want to have graphics from post to post. You may want to sprinkle in some images like we've done here. And there you have it. You've got several Instagram posts that you can now take and populate your Instagram feed with. A relatively quick and easy way to create an Instagram feed that is sure to impress.